the face washing you just saw was at 4.50 a.m. this morning. It's now 2.30 p.m. Time for another little wake-up call. How many ways can you wash your face and film it at your office? That is the question. I've decided I need a little break. I've been at the computer 10 hours. Mm. Got so much done. And I found some old files, old video files, which I'm gonna talk about in a minute. But first, to break, to take a little rest, I'm gonna do a little spray painting. Not for myself, but for my son, my firstborn son. Hun, stop the video now. It's a surprise for his birthday. <clears throat> Joseph James is turning four very soon, but we are a family on a budget, and so, you know, there's not a ton of present action going on, which is actually better for little kids, but he did request a tennis racket for his birthday. Where did that come from? I have no idea. And all we could find at Goodwill, yes, Goodwill, was a pink and purple tennis racket. But I am not going to give my firstborn son a pink and purple tennis racket. No, that ain't happening. So, time to pull out the spray paint. Bye-bye, Dora. All right, I published a vlog about 10 days ago. I don't even remember which one, but I'll put it right there. Click right there and you'll see a vlog from about 10 days ago where I talk about those tapes. Those tapes are tapes from the archive and I'm gonna start publish publishing them today. That's right, video from 2010, six years ago. Whoa, six years ago and it involves a race up a mountain. That's right, a race up a mountain. But first, let's go to a running location to talk about that story. All right, I was just driving down the street on the way to a run and I noticed something a little strange. So I had to pull around the block and I just wanna show you, maybe I'm missing something here. Same house, maybe if you had a little water over there, you might wanna put some over here. Just saying, you might want to distribute that out a little. All right, someone's in control. Someone's in control, it's not me. Like I was saying, running is in my blood. It's in the family blood, the Demore blood, man. We love to run. Running is part of who we are. And I get in the car, I turn on the radio, 7.60 a.m., Denver Sports, and who's about to get interviewed? This guy. My chance to talk with Coach Mark Wetmore from CU here. And Coach, this guy will tell you, don't give me your number because you'll regret it. So, how are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. Yeah, great. I, now, obviously, we want to talk about Emma and Jenny, but first and foremost, I was, I was asking you, how long is the track season going? It, you have a meet. It's a smaller deal, but you've got a meet coming up here in just about a week already? A week from Friday, we take a look at some of the mid-pack uh, emerging varsity people, begin to put our roster together for the season. Coach, thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. It's great to meet you. Thank you, Derek. Congratulations. Well, there it is, folks. Mark Wetmore, my uh, CU cross-country coach, track coach from college. I, uh, I can't tell the story now of how I ended up at CU and running for them, but the bottom line is I know Mark well, and as they didn't mention this in the interview, but he has coached more Olympians than, as far as distance runners, than any other coach that I know of. And I would definitely argue that he's easily a top three 
uh, U.S. distance coach of all time and possibly even the best of all time as far as distance, like let's say one mile or 1K and above. Uh, that's what I would call long distance. So, woo, amazing. But before I go for a run, we're in my sweet basketball shorts, which gives you an indication of how serious I am with running right now. Not very, but I'm gonna get there, I'm gonna get there. Uh, I have to tell this little backstory. Basically, I was in the office about a half hour ago looking for a client's old footage from 2011. And what did I stumble upon? Footage from the Pikes Peak Ascent in 2010. If you remember in this video, right here, three, four days ago, my brother crushed the Pikes Peak Ascent right there. Click there to watch that video. It's really good, really good. Although I'm gonna use some of the footage here in about 45 seconds. Uh, so here's some footage from the Pikes Peak Ascent when I ran it in 2010. Remember, I wanna start re-emerging, uh, re-igniting uh, some old footage from the archive. Let's start first with Pikes Peak. So, in 2010, we started Manitou Springs. Here's some footage of that start. You can see it there, which, so I filmed my brother four days ago, and he filmed me uh, six years ago, and he did a pretty good I job. In fact, I, I, I almost, I was like, who's filming this? He did a, he did a damn good yes, job. Sir. So the Pikes Peak Ascent starts in Manitou Springs. Here's some drone footage from four days ago. There you go. Nice little drone footage up in the sky. Beautiful, beautiful. And that mountain straight ahead in the clouds. I know you can't see it, but that's Pikes Peak, which you start at 6,000 feet about in Manitou Springs, and you climb 8,000 feet to 14,000 feet above sea level. Whoa. But just like Joseph's race, you cannot really cheer the runners on the whole way because they go up a mountain. So you have to drive to the top like we did four days ago. And here is some great footage. Once again, Joseph Barton holding down the camera pretty darn well of myself finishing. Uh, I started really strong at the beginning of the Pikes Peak Ascent six years ago. Had a tough middle section, but I think I finished pretty strong here. I was, I was pleasantly surprised. <laughs> I'm gonna do a little split screen for you. Here's Joseph. I'm gonna try and even do it on the same turn or the same section. Here's Joseph and I running side by side. Who's going faster? Joseph or me? Joseph or me? Comment below. Who's going faster? But in the end, Joseph Barton beat me by two minutes. Ugh. I'm coming for you, Joseph. I'm coming for you. Uh, so he beat me in 2010. I ran about 232. I'll look that up officially and put it right here. And Joseph ran 2.30.07, so he beat me by basically two minutes. But I'm coming for you, brother. I'm coming for you. All right, enough talking. Time to get down to business. Time to run. All right, so here are some aerial views of Washington Park, also known as Wash Park, in Denver, Colorado. And it is not where I prefer to run because it's, it's not very adventurous, it's very tame. True love, taking care of her husband. Oh, honey, I didn't taste it, so if you think it needs more salt or something. Oh, my God. <laughs> Happy hour. This is what I get to come home to. Oh. Thanks, true love. Oh.